Remains of a missing sailor killed during the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor were finally buried today at Jefferson Barracks National Cemetery. Fox 2's Patrick Clark has more on how Navy Fireman First Class Charles Ogle's remains were identified and brought home. At Jefferson Barracks National Cemetery, on average, there are 30 funerals every day. But Monday morning, it was 76 years after a Missouri man had died that he was finally being laid to rest. Uh, I am Charles Ogle's nephew. And as a matter of fact, I was born approximately three weeks before he was killed at Pearl Harbor. He enlisted right out of high school. He was in the Navy for two years before Pearl Harbor. Charles Olga was aboard the USS Oklahoma December 7, 1941, when the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor. The 20-year-old Navy sailor from Trask, Missouri, was one of 429 killed in torpedo attacks. The remains of the crew were buried in two Hawaiian cemeteries, but in 2015, new analysis and DNA testing on the remains identified Navy fireman first class Charles Ogle. I know that they, the family, my, my mom and my aunt, both of my aunts referred to him often. They, you know, there was no closure. Monday morning with Charles Ogle's sisters Irene and Dorothy and family gathered to finally say goodbye, the remains of the 20-year-old were laid to rest from his death December 7, 1941 a date that will live in infamy. But February 12th, 2018, is one this family won't soon forget. I think initially when they learned that the remains had been identified, that it opened fresh wounds, and, and some of the families said, well, that, that's all over with. But then they began to realize it really hadn't closed things up for them yet. At Jefferson Barracks National Cemetery, Patrick Clark, Fox 2 News.